So today we are back with automation slash beam and G drive and folks, we are going to try to build a supercar that is faster than a twin turbo Lamborghini. And folks, stay tuned until the end because we wound up making something that might resemble a plane. So be sure to hit that thumbs up button, comment down below with suggestions for new builds, and let's do this. Okay, so super awesome, overly fast uh, death machine is what we're creating here today. So. I'm kind of liking uh, this style here. It's actually a 2008 coupe. Uh, of course, we're going to have a rear engine. This one looks really tall. What's up with that? <laughs> it looks goofy. But I feel like this is perfect. We'll stick a big rear wing on it, and it's totally going to turn. Uh, definitely going with the V12 here. I've learned a little bit. Now, definitely don't look at me for like uh, instructions on how to build your vehicles. Uh, I do watch a couple automation YouTubers now uh, because it's really entertaining watching somebody put together a legit car. And then, of course, you have mine. But this is fine. All right, so we definitely want like a carbon fiber body. We want it to be light. We want it to have too much motor and we want big boy wings everywhere so, and any little downforce things that I can add to this. So this is a part of the Komodo Def series. Uh, this will be a version. Okay, I'm not that immature. Okay, definitely have to go with the B12. Uh, this thing has to be ultra fast, ultra light. Uh, we want it to like take the most time and be expensive because I want to overcharge people. There we go. Let's just max this out. Is, is this too much? Uh, oh, we might have maxed it out a little too much. So we're going with the rule of thumb that the bottom stuff is like always your best materials. So yeah, let's keep that there and let's make sure it's nice and light. So I've heard that, you know, raising the compression all the way isn't always uh, the way to go, but I want more power. So I don't know if the engine's gonna explode. Uh, we'll set the cam profile to race. So definitely want a turbocharger on here. Uh, we got the twin turbos here, the intercooler, I guess, can I make this big? Uh, is it gonna tell me that I can't? Oh, oh. Okay, let's go ahead and preset this all to race. Max boost. Actually, let's go quality all the way. Can I, can I make the boost go up even higher? I don't know if this is going to blow up, but I'm assuming that it's going to, and it's going to be awesome. So can I just set these all to max? Uh, yes. Now, RPM, that's always a tricky one. This one seems to be the one that likes to explode everything. Ah, uh, let's try 8,000. Uh, right around 8,000. There we go. And the max quality, that way it doesn't explode. Can I test the engine? Uh, does it sound good? Uh, oh. 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 Uh, I mean, it sounds good. Yeah, this is fine. I mean, at least it's gonna look cool, even if it runs like a pile of poo. I kind of like the way this looks. Okay, we gotta definitely just, like, stealth this thing. Uh, let's go with black. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Maybe we'll take a little bit of that shine off and the flake off. Nice. Uh, so why is that one panel red? Is that the trim? Okay, that's the trim panel. Uh, should we change? You know, actually, I kind of like what it just did there. It kind of did like a little offset uh, black there. You know, we're going to go with that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we got to make something that looks ridiculous. Uh, I'm already uh, spotting like these. What are these? Are these headlights? These won't even fit on my car, right? Wait, what the heck? How do these work with these uh, wheel wells? Are they supposed to be like along the trim? This is like futuristic looking here, hold on. So if we were to turn these slightly so they line up with the, where it actually like slopes off, does that work? I mean, not gonna lie, it looks kind of cool. I feel like they should be bigger. Hold on, let's make them that, let's make them a little wider. You know, I kind of feel like it shouldn't have a grill on it, but I also feel like it might look weird without a grill. Like it looks really just plain looking. I'm thinking something maybe like this and just like stick it really low. Oh, it looks like it's smiling. It's the happiest supercar you've ever seen. Can I make it frown? Do we have one that doesn't do that? It looks so happy now. <laughs> I almost feel like we should change the color from black to like just some sort of really bright color. Uh, can we go to like yellow? Okay, back to body color. We got to change this. Uh, let's go yellow. Let's just take out the flake. There we go. It looks kind of like a banana or something it just reminds me uh let's keep that trim panel black though honestly i kind of want to stick these vents up in the front but it kind of also looks ugly hold on what if we made it a little bit wider and a little longer i don't i don't know what the point of that is but it kind of looks cool so we're gonna go with it so i really do want to put a big boy wing on here because i feel like that would be fun i've got some mod wings uh some of these look kind of cool i guess 
Oh, let's make it really tall and then really wide. Can we cover it over the back? Okay, it definitely needs... Oh, wait, does it need to be moved forward? Honestly, that kind of looks like it fits. Uh, here, let's make it a little bit longer. And yeah, it actually is floating off the back of the car. Uh, let's delete it and let's try this again. Maybe I can move it up. About right here should be the mounting point. There we go. And then back. And then we'll make it really wide. Uh, I mean, I don't hate it. It looks definitely fast. Uh, I don't know how this is going to work out, but I mean, we're getting somewhere. Okay, we definitely want like a massive diffuser in the back. Uh, this kind of looks like one of the charger diffusers. Let's go maybe with something like this. Uh, let's see how this looks. So if we stick this back here, have it low, have it go across and have it go up. Okay, a little bit wider. Make sure it fits into the bumper. Uh, sure, that looks pretty good. Okay, tail lights. Do we have something like weird like the front ones? Uh, these all look kind of funny. We could have like just one center uh, one and then maybe have maybe this. I don't like the little bitty bulbs on the outside. I like it because it's got that center split or the little slit there. Uh, so what if I were to do this? this actually i feel like these might need to be flipped i'll um, flip that and then let's go across uh i don't know if these are gonna fit in right oh what the heck just happened uh definitely not that honestly i'm not hating something really minimalistic like that try to keep the uh, the rear of the car looking clean uh i mean we've done something here i, I don't know if this is necessarily great but i'm actually kind of proud of this Okay, under tray, we want full downforce. Uh, we can give it like maximum downforce. Uh, I don't know if we want to do that. You don't want that much drag on it. Let, let's maybe try to find a happy medium. Maybe we'll go about 70 on that. Convertible, no. There's only two seats. We want a sport interior and a luxury HUD. I don't know if that's going to actually affect us, but that's fine. Okay, so we have our car here. Is it... As fast as a Lamborghini, it's already saying that it's not comfortable to drive, but you know what? I don't care. It's not supposed to be comfortable. So let's go and export this. I'm still a little bit worried about how the engine is, but you know what? We're going to give death a bit of a try. Okay, so here is the banana. <laughs> We're going to call it that. It's actually quite big. Like, look at it next to a Lamborghini. Uh, this is a twin turbo Lamborghini over here. The question is, which one has more speed? So here, let's just pull up. Let's just do a little run here just to get a feel for uh, like what's going on. So here, let's get up to the line. Okay, let's see what our top speed's gonna be, and go! And we. Oh, this thing is still a joy to drive. Okay, uh, I don't count to like the quarter mile, I count to where the road runs out. Okay, so we got about 233, I think. Uh, also, safety features. So. Am I gonna embarrass myself? Did I create something a little bit faster? Oh, 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 oh. You know, I should have turned off traction control on the Lamborghini. Actually, does it have traction control? I'll have to double check that real quick. Uh, okay, so say we're gonna run here. There's also something way out there and I'm not really sure what it is. Is that attached to my vehicle? Okay, here we go. Question is, what kind of speed does it have? And go. Oh, geez. Uh, yes. Okay, it gets up to the gears pretty quick. Uh-oh, is it gonna top out though? No, we need more speed. Yeah, the gearing's not high enough. Uh, okay. Well, I think we have a chance to beat the Lamborghini and outrun some police. Uh, I need to go back in automation real quick. We need to just gear it out. Like I didn't think that that was gonna be a problem, but man, it grips. So I'm gonna take away a little bit of downforce gear it out a bit and we'll see if we can get some more straight line speed okay here we go this is version two i got something a, a little bit different as far as the gearing so i'm hoping this is gonna make uh, the difference here uh make sure actually i think i turned off track it says like i have it on but i completely took it out of the car so i don't know what that's all about all right so we are ready to go actually it's lined up a little bit better here oh man it just wants to take off uh that's so cool all right here we go and Oh, let's see what it's got. Oh, this feels a lot better. Come on. Gotta be over like 233 is where I'm hoping to be at. And I don't think we're gonna do it. I think the Lamborghini's getting us still on the top end. I'm still topping out. Oh, geez. Uh, the engine almost just flew out of this car. 
So I guess that is the uh, answer that I can't build something faster than Lamborghini, at least not at the moment. Now I wanted to make it tough and I figured that's probably about my best competition. Yeah, like it could totally be geared out even more because I bet you on the highway here, we get to our, uh, our high speed fairly quick. Uh, it is really maneuverable though. I must say I can like point it in any lane I want here and it feels like it still has an insane amount of grip. I mean, certainly it's not the big wings and stuff. Actually, look how the back end is squatting down there. What? Is that because that rear wing is just like pushing it down because it's so massive? Maybe we should have made the front lip a lot bigger to try to get the front end down. Oh, jeez. Oh. Well, I'm not sure it's going to pass safety rating. Honestly, I'm a little salty about the Lamborghini thing. Like, I know if I geared it out even a little bit different, I could probably get closer, but I might need to look into a new motor here. But the V12 is really nice. Uh, what do you say we take it around the racetrack real quick and then we try a police chase with it? All right, we might not have the Lamborghini speed outright, but what about the handling here? Actually, which way does the track go? Oh, jeez, I just locked it up there. What the? I think I broke something. Uh, is it concerning when you hit the brakes and, like, the, uh, I guess the brakes explode? Well, here's the thing. Don't hit the brakes much. Hold on. So let's test out the handling. It understeers a bit. It actually feels like the back end, like that big wing might be hurting it. So maybe we'll come out with a variant with no downforce. Uh, but as far as it's get up and go, like it grips and it sends pretty fast. It turns better at high speed, which I'm assuming that's the downforce effect because low speed, it's a bit of a pig. Also, I probably need to redo those brakes. You know, it's actually not that bad at low speed. I wonder if we're bottoming out a little bit when we get on the brakes. Because uh, sometimes it just goes straight. Uh, oh, that is uh, a little bit of dirt. I'm trying to look at the back of it. Um, you know, we might write this off as being one of those like uh, 90s or 80s sports cars that it was just about looking cool and going fast and you didn't actually worry about the handling and all that. But yeah, I guess we should definitely test it against uh, the police and then maybe for the next episode we'll revise it or go back to the drawing board. I still want something with just insane amounts of power. You know, it's pretty funny when I talk about insane amounts of power. I'm like, oh, it needs more power. But I'm like, uh, I mean, this is probably plenty, but we could always go faster. So it's a question of how do we go faster? Leave your uh, comments down below. Obviously, you could gear it out really tall, but I want something that gets up to that top speed fairly fast. Uh, so there's a really fine balance, which I might have to actually dig into some of these automation channels and just maybe take some pointers as far as their engine builds. Uh, but you know what for just kind of going for it here. I'm fairly proud of this uh, Like I said at high speed it turns great uh, Low speed. It's a little unstable uh, It just feels kind of unbalanced But hey, we don't need balance balance is uh, for squares. Actually, I don't know where I was going with that That's fine. All right So, you know the objective escape the police who are actually going head-on at me right now. Oh, geez You know, I think I have so many mods enabled they might have broken some of the uh, window textures on the police might need to calm that down. Uh, by the way, there was a random parts video the other day. So if you're seeing broken stuff, it's because of that. Oh yeah, we got that acceleration. I can point at a uh, high speed and just kind of go. But here's where it's kind of like tricky. It's the low speed to mid speed cornering. It just doesn't feel quite right. So like the uh, tunnel here, like I'm having to let off quite a bit. I can only take it at about like 70, which I mean 70 is still pretty good, but I feel like in a car like this, like 80, 90, we should be swinging around that corner. And the police are trying to stop us in the tunnel. Oh, almost spun it out there. It still sometimes hooks a little weird, but its acceleration is really great when you don't give it input. You start trying to steer like while punching it, it points in a, a very bad way and you almost die. You know, I really just think I made a very unsafe supercar here. Uh, this is fine. All right, brakes, brakes, brakes. The brakes are still kind of funny on this. I feel like I need to actually back off them a little bit. Uh, they're almost too strong, and I almost feel like the rears are locking up uh, because I think it's what's dragging the car around sometimes when I'm on the brakes. All right. Oh, it's just, it's fast. Like, yeah, it's top speed isn't Lamborghini twin turbo fast, but it's still really fun to drive. All right, gas it back up. Like, I wouldn't mind driving this on the road. I mean, it does look like a big banana, but, you know, other than that. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. He switched lanes on me. Wow, we tore the back end of his car off. Um, we lost our wing. 
I'm almost kind of curious, like a wingless version, like what would it do? Like wingless, no downforce. Like if you're wanting to go in a straight line, that would probably be the way to do it. Uh, make its gears a lot taller. No! Why would you tear up my car like this? I like this thing. You know, I just realized if I were to ever live stream a game, I would probably do the automation into BeamNG thing because I feel like that'd be entertaining with you guys. Like having you guys help me try to set up the vehicle to all that was terrible. You know, I'm curious. Let's go to the car jump arena. With this wing set up, what does it do when it, once it gets like airborne? <laughs> Obviously we saw it, it's faster than most police, actually probably about 99% of police cars, unless you have Lamborghini Twin Turbo. But I wanna see what the aerodynamics do with this car. Cause I feel like there actually is way too much rear downforce. Okay, so the car on the right is the latest version of the car. This is the first version that has a little more downforce. Let's see what this does real quick. All right. Uh, just kind of let it do its thing here. Man, this car just hooks up and goes. Uh, okay, so yeah, it tops out at about 186. And what the? Uh, you know, besides the tail end where it turned itself, the car had a really weird float to it. Hold on, let's try the other one real quick. This one's a little bit faster. Okay, let's launch it off. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Okay, might have, shouldn't have done that. It's fine. Oh, we definitely broke something. Uh, are we still gonna hit our over 200? Come on. Come on. Uh, oh. Yeah, look at that. Look how stable it is. Now, if you keep, like, twisting the motor, it finally flips over to the right, but, I mean, we kind of made something that was aerodynamic as far as if you wanted a plane instead of a car. Also, it's bugging me. I think those are rear view mirrors that keep appearing in the front of this thing. I need to go look inside the editor and see how those got there. But yeah, I think that's a thing. All right, here we go. Wow, that's kind of cool. Uh, it's let off. That way it stops turning. Oh, okay. Turning the wheels definitely kind of makes it go funky, but I like it. It's mine. I created it. Also, does it float? Nope, it doesn't float. But if you guys have any suggestions, comment down below. We'll see you guys next time.